Good evening. We're still in the book of Matthew, chapter 12, and we're picking up right where we left off in verse 22. Let's begin. Then a demon-possessed man, who was both blind and unable to talk, was brought to Jesus. He healed the man so that he could both speak and see. The crowd was amazed. Could it be that Jesus is the son of David, the Messiah? They all wondered this out loud. But when the Pharisees heard about the miracle, they said, No wonder he can cast out demons. He gets his power from Satan, the prince of demons. Jesus knew their thoughts, and he replied, Any kingdom at war with itself is doomed. A city or home divided against itself is doomed. And if Satan is casting out Satan, he is fighting against himself. His only kingdom, his own kingdom will not survive. And if I am empowered by the prince of demons, what about your own followers? They cast out demons too, so they will judge you for what you have said. But if I am casting out demons by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God has arrived among you. Let me illustrate this, he says. You can't enter a strong man's house and rob him without first tying him up. Only then can his house be robbed. Anyone who isn't helping me opposes me, and anyone who isn't working with me is actually working against me. He goes on. Every sin or blasphemy can be forgiven, except blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, which can never be forgiven. Anyone who blasphemes against me, the Son of Man, can be forgiven, but blasphemy against the Holy Spirit will never be forgiven in this world or the world to come. A tree is identified by its fruit. Make a tree good, and its fruit will be good. Make a tree bad, and its fruit will be bad. You broad of snakes, how could evil men like you speak what is good and right? For whatever is in your heart determines what you say. A good person produces good words from a good heart. An evil person produces evil words from an evil heart. And I tell you this, that you must give an account on judgment day of every idle word you speak. The words you say now reflect your fate then. Either you will be justified by them or you will be condemned. And that's what we're going to leave off for this evening. May the good Lord bless and protect you this evening.